welded the frame and mounted the axle. We sanded and primed and painted the trailer. After installing the composite material, I put pre-finished three-quarter inch maple plywood on top. In this picture, I'm cutting out the profile shape of the trailer. Once the profile was finished, I used a uh, flush trim bit on a router to cut the profiles on the side pieces. With the side pieces cut, I mounted the sides with Craig screws and reinforced with steel angle iron. The trailer started to take shape. I installed a bulkhead where the foot box would go and the shelves on the back of the trailer. Next I started on the wiring, installed the converter, the air conditioner, rear plugs, and a fan to pull out the hot air from the air conditioner. Next I cut the doors, put in the front bulkhead, and used two to three to tie the side panels together and make a strong, sturdy top. Then started working on the interior, installed the radio, the TV, and started trimming everything out. We used a six inch memory foam queen size mattress for the interior. I then started on the back hatch. I cut the vertical ribs that were curved and then connected it with cross pieces. I covered both sides of the hatch with eight inch Luan plywood. I installed a hurricane hinge that I bought off the internet. I covered the entire trailer with the aluminum and plastic composite material, installed the doors, and got the trim from a local trailer place. I used waterproof kayak ports for my vents on both sides for the air conditioning. I have both 15 amp and 30 amp shore power and a hookup for the TV. This is our first camping trip. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please post them. Thanks again. It took me about nine months to build the trailer from start to finish, and it was a lot of fun. Thanks again for watching.